Hi, this is Anna from AskAnnaMosley.com, and today I'm here to share a couple vacuuming tips with you. People ask me all the time how I get perfect vacuum lines, and it's so hard to explain because it's just something I do naturally, but today I'm going to try and show you in a video how I do it. So, one of the first things is it's really important to make sure you get under all your furniture. So instead of just vacuuming, you can see down here at this couch, instead of just vacuuming, past the couch like this, you want to try to go up to the couch because that will get in all like the little stuff that's underneath the couch. So I'm going to show you really quickly what I'm going to do. This I'm going to use my Oort because it has a low setting, so hopefully it'll make a little more sense as I'm showing you. Okay, so I'm going to turn and actually vacuum up to the couch. everything up to the couch and that you've gotten as much of the dirt as possible because if you don't do that eventually if you're just rolling past like this you're gonna get dirt buildup along the side of your furniture so it's really important to make sure that you go around up to all of your furniture a lot of people just vacuum sporadically like all over the place just like this okay it's done so what I'm gonna show you is how I do it and I'm gonna try to explain it as I go and then I'm pulling back so I can make sure I get all of that and then I slightly overlap but switch the angle so I'm getting all of the stuff in between but I'm making a nice set of lines as I do it. So hopefully that makes sense. So I'm gonna vacuum a little and then I'll get back on the video and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, another thing I wanna talk about is movable furniture. So this coffee table is sitting in the middle of the room and I could easily vacuum around it, but then we're not vacuuming up to our furniture like I just talked about. So what I do is I just pull it away so that I can get in here and get up to the couch at a good angle. And then after I do that, then I will put the coffee table back and vacuum under the coffee table and you know vacuum over my footprints and everything. Okay, so I've just vacuumed um, up to the couch. I moved the coffee table, was able to get up against that couch and put the coffee table back. So here's another thing that I do, another one of my tips, is I kind of vacuum in rows. And I know that doesn't really make sense yet. But um, so I've done this as my first row. So now I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna vacuum up to that row. So essentially I am vacuuming myself out of the room so then that way I've got all these perfect lines that go in sections as I get out of the room. So then the whole room looks beautiful when I'm done. <laughs> so now I've gotten to this side of the room. I moved this chair here so I could vacuum this area. I've done my first row by the couch, my second row here after the coffee table to this point. But now I've got this furniture behind me. So I wanna make sure that I do the same thing and vacuum up to the furniture rather than just vacuuming around it. Because what I could do is just go like this and then come out of the room, but then we've got the same problem with dirt building up in your carpet under here. So you, what I do is I actually will turn around so I've got this strip here that I haven't vacuumed. I'll vacuum this, so I've got lines going this way, and then I'll vacuum my way out of the room like this. back so I personally 
hate footprints on a freshly carpeted ground, so I should have put this chair back and then vacuumed myself out of the room. But you get the idea. So you put the chair back and then you continue your fan to vacuum yourself out of the room. Okay, I just got finished um, vacuuming this side of the room, but in a large room like this, I try to vacuum it in um, sections because it can get a little overwhelming trying to have all your vacuum lines perfectly exit the room when there's large spaces. So what I do is I vacuumed this section, then I would vacuum this section over here so that it leads out to that um, doorway where the camera is, and then this section over here where I'm standing, I would vacuum out this direction so that it goes out this doorway and matches up with these vacuum lines over here. This breaks it down and makes it a little bit easier and not as overwhelming when you're vacuuming. So you vacuum in parts and each part looks beautiful. In a small room, it's easy to just go in, you know, a bedroom or something and vacuum yourself out the doorway. But in a large room like this, I vacuum it in sections. So that's all my tips for today. I hope that this helps and I hope that it makes sense. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave me a question in the comments and I will definitely get back to you. So thank you so much and um, let me know if you have any questions.